Welcome back. Now on the burning question, we turn our focus to Tamil Nadu, where after nearly two months of a lull in the clash for Jayalalitha's legacy and property, the fight has it happened yesterday and it happened with a vengeance. Nowhere else but outside her poet's garden house. Jaya's niece, Deepa Jay Kumar, alleged that her brother, along with Shashikala, were complicit in murdering her. And now the war is also set to reach the Prime Minister's door. <laughs> And with these words, Deepa Jai Kumar reignited the fire surrounding Aunt Jayalalitha's legacy. It started Sunday morning when Deepa claimed her brother had called her to Amma's home. But when she finally arrived, she was allegedly thrown out of her own aunt's house. They pushed me out. Deepak then hit back at her sister for leveling the most sensational charge at him. She thinks I killed my aunt and uh, she's the biggest fool in the earth. Anger Deepa Jayakumar supporters meanwhile found a new target to vent their frustration, burning an effigy of TTV Dinakaran and raising slogans outside Deepa's house. Believing that it was Dinakaran's men who forced Deepa out of the poise garden. I'm standing in front of Deepa's house and as you could see on that side that is TTV Dinakaran's effigy that is being burned by the uh, supporters of Deepa in front of Deepa's house. They have all assembled over here and they are burning the effigy of uh, TTV Dinakaran. They claim that this was her who were there, TTV's goons who did not allow Deepa and her brother inside. And the rest of why they are showing their, prote their protest against uh, uh, TTV Dinakaran. Their his effigy is being burned over here. We see the cops over there but they are not doing anything. They are just standing on that side. Unrelenting Deepa has now sought a meeting with the Prime Minister, hoping to end the war for Jaya's legacy. This house, this particular property was purchased by my grandmother uh, in the late 60s. And uh, as per will, she had transferred it to her daughter, in which she has clearly mentioned that after her lifetime it will go to the grandchildren. There definitely is a threat uh, because uh, also uh, taking into uh, light of all the things that happened today, uh, definitely the threat uh, issue is there. They are trying to harm me intentionally. Huge commotion, huge ruckus in front of Jalalta's Poets Garden house. Deepa came here because Deepa called her, that is her brother. And now she says like Deepak has left her and she has, he has embarrassed her. And that's the reason she is like in utter trouble saying like she did not en want to enter this place until the dispute was solved in a legal manner. So who does this Poets Garden house belong to seems to the question that has arisen now. In Chennai, Pramod Madhav, Point here today. In fact, the big questions we're asking is, is the Prime Minister going to step into this entire mess to sort it out? Because Jalalitha's niece is likely to knock on his door. She's not coming today, finally, but eventually she wants to have the Prime Minister's intervention. Who really is Jaya's heir? All the money, the property, who is it eventually going to go to in the absence of a will? Let me get in. Two of my colleagues... Akshitanand Gopal and Pramod Madhav on that story. Pramod, you in fact were witness to that entire drama yesterday. What is the main problem in this, this war for Jalalita's property and it's worth several hundred crores? That is so true, Padmaja. The main problem with this is that the Jalalita's property worth several hundred crores has nobody to man it and that is why it seems like Deepak Luka earlier said that she is not interested in her properties, but only to carry forward her legacy. Yesterday, something different occurred. She claimed her brother, for whom, to whom we did not, she did not speak for almost 12 years, called her repeatedly and asked her to accompany uh, him to Poe's garden. And that is why she went over there on the stake, claiming that they want to do a, a, a garland, a, place a garland at Jaralta's picture and enter the house. Apparently, we came to know that Deepa, in, the, in that particular moment, tried to throw away Sashikala's picture, which was also present there, which is when the people who are called as private security guards really got agitated and started attacking people. Hmm. Then it took a really odd turn. 
But we know now that like, there is no bill which at least Deepak or nobody claims to bring it to the public forum, which means that there is nobody to say that we are the legal heirs of this particular property. But after what occurred yesterday, Deepak has also clearly stated that she will fight for the property and for her part of it and she will not rely. And that's why she wants to meet with the Prime Minister and inform him about two things. One is how the, uh, the law and order situation has deteriorated in Tamil Nadu and second thing is to talk about the kind of like a discrepancy with the death of their Ashwin Pamuja. All right, stay with me because we also have A. Saranan of the DMK with us on the phone line. It seems now that other than just politics, Mr. Sarvanan, the real issues within this entire clan are coming out and that of course is a huge money related issue. Uh, whatever said and done, uh, however we look at it, uh, the legal hair of Silvi J. J. Lalita or Deepa and Deepa, so they are entitled to the estate of Silvi J. Lalita. But she has raised one important pertinent question which is remaining uh, still unsolved. Both the factions uh, of the ADMK, they have kept on saying and stressing that they are open for an inquiry into the mysterious death of Silvi J. J. Lalita. And yesterday, uh, Mr. Deepa also has raised an allegation. She has said that someone, someone XYZ is responsible for the death of their aunt. Hmm. Why are they not investigating that? Why no inquiry committee or any exactly. credible investigation into the mysterious death has not taken place? That is the crux. I think they should go ahead with that. I think a leader, leader like the BJ Dailalita doesn't deserve this. Whatever, we, we may have a lot of uh, uh, grievances against her. We may not have liked her politics, but still, hmm. she was the chief minister and her death should not like this. Absolutely and in fact more than anything else now it's become less about her legacy and more about the money that she has left behind. Do you think it's going to become even more complicated in the absence of a will? Who is ultimately going to decide this issue? Definitely it's our money aspect is definitely going to be complicated because after 1991 Selvi J. Jay Lalita has never purchased any property in her name. Everything is in the joint name of Sachikala, Ilavarasi and Jailalita. So definitely it is going to be very, very complicated and Deepa and Deepak, I don't think they will be able to get their legitimate share without cooperation or concern from Sachikala and Jailavarasi. So definitely it's going to be complicated. All right. Thanks very much, Mr. Sarvanan, for joining us. Let me also bring in Akshita Anand Gopal. Akshita, if Deepa Jaikumar has information about her brother being complicit along with Shashikala in murdering Jay Lalita, what was stopping her so far from actually lodging a complaint with the police? Why didn't she bring these facts to the attention of the police sooner? Well, that's a million dollar question, isn't it, Padma Joy? It's interesting because, you know, at the point that she was there at Boys Garden yesterday, she was, uh, you know, frazzled, she was frustrated. I think in that sense, she vented out, pointing fingers at her brother. But Deepak Jaikumar also has lashed out very clearly, very categorically stating that, look, this is nothing but a lie. But also what we have to keep in mind is that, uh, Padma Joy, initially, when this entire saga was breaking out, soon after Jailalta's demise, Deepak Jaikumar was on the side of BK Sashikala. He was standing alongside her and reports suggested that you know he was miffed that TTV Dinakara was chosen as the Deputy General Secretary and he wanted to actually be at the helm of the party affairs. That's when he decided to distance himself from the Sashikala camp. That's when he decided to distance himself from the AI ATMK itself. So that's where possibly, uh, you know, this allegation really stems from as far as uh, Deepa's claims are concerned. But at this point, there is nothing official. There's no formal complaint that's been lodged, no action that's been taken by Deepa. These are just very, very strong allegations, charges being leveled by her. Her brother has already come out and stated that, look, there's no truth to it. Interestingly, these two have been having a war of words in the past. Uh, you know, when we've spoken to Deepa as well about what exactly she and her brother are planning to do, whether they both will together go ahead and stake a claim. They've been very unclear about it. While both of them individually okay. have spoken and said that, look, this uh, anything that is realized is belongs to us, considering that there is no will, we are the rightful heirs, especially the likes of Coast Guard, and which does not, which is not in Sashikala's or Ilavarsi's name, but only in Jayalalita's name. And considering there's no will, they are claiming that this is theirs. But considering that the, both the siblings themselves are fighting so much, Bhagnaja, you tend to question whether they can actually come together and put across, uh, you know, a, a good, a strong, solid fight for 
Uh, I'm sorry, we have some uh, problem with that audio line with Akshita. We'll go back to her in a bit. But meanwhile, my colleague Priyamvada also had a word with Deepa Jaikumar about the kind of allegations that she leveled against her own brother, whether she wanted to rethink them or explain those comments. Here's what Deepa Jaikumar told us. It's an India Today exclusive. Uh, Deepak, what exactly happened in the morning? Your sister is alleging that uh, you called her to Poe's Garden. Is it true? Yeah, that is true. I called my sister. She was in school shop. I called uh, Deepa. For what, actually? To go inside Poe's Garden and uh, visit my auntie's photograph and pay the homage and uh, go into the house and... Uh what happened after that? Because Deepa says no, Deepa, that... Uh, no, Priya Mada, what I'll do is like, I'll open a press meet on this and Deepa has a lot of complaints on me. Yeah, she said that you conspired to kill your aunt Jailalita. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did hear that. I did hear that and I'll open a press meet on that and uh, let me talk on a press meet. Uh, no, Deepa. but what do you have to say about this? What do you want to reply to her when she's made such no, a big nothing, allegation? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, if she thinks I killed my aunt, then uh, she's the biggest fool in the earth. And she what says that you have allegiance with Shashikala and her family members. I'm sorry? She's saying that you're conspiring along with Shashikala and her family members. Then why should I take Deepa into Boy's Garden? So what exactly is the truth? I would have gone around. I would have gone around. And now uh, why, why would I allow Deepa to go inside? And now uh, why would I have uh, made uh, all this stuff inside? So what exactly is the truth? What is happening? You should ask Deepa this question, not me, ma'am. Well, of course, uh, that was Deepak Jaikumar trying to explain his side of the story. But what is he explaining for all those who are not clued in yesterday? Chennai had quite a bit of drama right outside Poe's garden and at each other's throats were two siblings, the nephew and niece of Jailalita, Deepa and Deepak Jaikumar. Listen in, we caught it all on camera. <laughs> All right, so Deepa Jaikumar calling her brother a rascal. Pramod, like I mentioned earlier, was right there. He was the one who caught all that exclusively on camera. Pramod, what's your sense? What really is the story for this sudden outburst, this mysterious meeting, Deepa saying I was called to pay floral tribute, Deepak denying, what actually went on behind the scenes? Well, for me, it seems like Deepa is already frustrated over uh, Deepak Jayakumar's uh, allegiance with Sashikla and he still maintains that. Even though he said that he's not with the TTV anymore, he does not TTV, support TTV, on the background, he's still supporting Jail I mean, Sashikla and uh, Natarajan, her husband. And that is not something that is going well with Deepa Jayakumar. She is claiming that like you being live, my blood relative, when there is like the, the, some lot of uh, conspiracies behind Jalata's death, and when Sashikala is being uh, accused of that, you are still showing your allegiance towards uh, Sashikala, and that is the reason this fat uh, like uh, grew over the brim and. All right, so remember, all of these people also have their own political careers. They are looking at Deepa Jay Kumar, wants to branch out as a politician in her own right. So this might just be a political statement she's making against her brother, believed to be close to Shashikala. Thanks very much, Pramod, for getting us all of those images and your perspective on this.